Hey everyone, on this episode of American Travel Family, we are going to show you the quickest and easiest way to get around London, and that's on the tube. So let's get going. London, the quickest and easiest way around is the underground, but no one calls it that. It's called the tube. So let's show you how to use it. Here we go. So like most cities, the first thing you gotta do is buy a ticket. But here in London, the best way and cheapest way to get on the tube is with an oyster card. And we're gonna buy one right now. An oyster card? You pay as you go. Your kids' t price is different? Yes. Okay. So these are our adult cards, and now I've got to get cards for the kids. All right, let's talk about the highlights and the tips on how to use this Oyster card. The Oyster card is a contactless and reloadable card that you use to tap in and out of the turnstiles at the tube station. It keeps track of all your fares and rides and just subtracts the amount from the balance on your card. There's also a maximum daily fare, which is capped around seven pounds. So once you hit that, the rest of your rides for the day are free. So a 25 to 30 pound card will last you for three to four days. And each person in your family over the age of 11 must have their own card. And if you run out of money on your card, you can always reload it. You can also use the Oyster card on the National Rail and the London City buses. Another great option that London just recently added is the ability to use Apple Pay or your contactless debit or credit card for payment. But each family member must have their own Apple Pay set up or debit or credit card. Otherwise, we recommend just getting the prepaid Oyster cards for each person. All right, once you all have your prepaid Oyster card, you simply tap it on the turnstile and enter the tube station. And then you just need to figure out which train to get on to get to your destination. The tube stations are mostly clearly labeled, and no matter where you're at, there's always one nearby. Inside every station, there's a detailed spaghetti map that you can use for directions around the city. If you can find a personal hard copy, make sure to grab it. London is made up of 11 main lines, which are all color-coded. The trains all travel in cardinal directions, so the first thing you need to do is to figure out whether you're traveling north, south, east, or west. Kenzie, do you have the two map memorized? Yep. Other than the map, there are a couple other ways you can find directions around London. The first is the Tube Map app, which you can download on iOS for free. It has the basic map of London, and it also has some other great options that you see here. You can actually check your Oyster card balance and reload it from the app. And then most importantly, what I use this for is the route planner to get around London. Now you can type in your directions of where you are and where you want to go, and it'll give you a couple options. So from here, we want to go from the Hard Rock London to the London Eye. And it's given me a couple different options here. I'm going to select the top option, which has the least amount of walking. And as you can see here, I need to catch the red line from the Marble Arch and change at Bond Street to the gray line, which will get me to the London Eye. So it's a great idea to take a screenshot of these directions in case you're down in the tube and you don't get cell service. But I always like to look at this ahead of time if I have time to do so to figure out the basic directions on how to get to my destination. You can also check other things like the status of the lines and it's a real easy app to navigate and there's a lot of good information on it. The next best option which might be the easiest is just to use Google Maps. So here I typed in Hard Rock London and the London Eye and Google Maps is great because it will give you different options for getting your destination. I'll hit the second tab here which is the train and as you can see it takes me from the red line to the brown line. Um, down to the London Eye and then you can scroll down and see all the detailed directions. I do have to change lines and it'll give you the actual walking times between exchanges. So honestly if you don't want to download another app on your phone Google Maps works great. Just remember to take a screenshot or know the directions before you get down in the station in case there isn't any service. All right, let's get on this train. Always be courteous and let people off first and then remember mind the gap and watch your step as you board. Then move inside of the train and try to stay out of people's way. Be courteous to others, and as a smart traveler on public transportation, be sure to watch yours and your family's belongings. When your stop is approaching, be ready to get off the train quickly. The trains can get busy at many times during the day. Always remember to have your belongings and grab your little one's hands and keep them close as you depart. Then just follow the signs for the way out 
or for your next transfer line. Everything is labeled really well in the tube stations. Be sure to pay attention to your surroundings and always stay together. Hopefully you never get split up, but if you do, have a plan. What was your question? What is the rule if you get split up? All right, stop that is a great question and Kenzie had the answer. We talked about this always. If you get split up, getting on and off the tube, you just get off at the next stop, stay put, and wait till the rest of us get to the next stop. Do not leave the next stop. Here's another safety tip you'll see and hear about. It's called Mind the Gap. All the train stations have this yellow line. It's basically telling you to watch your step as you get into and off the tube for the space between the train and the walkway. Also, do not stand any closer or inside the yellow line while waiting for the train. This is very dangerous. So watch your little ones and watch yourself. A lot of times you'll have to transfer to another line, so just be sure to follow the directions to the next train. So right now we're making a transfer from one tube train to the next tube train. As you can see in some stations, you do have to walk a bit, and there are some long walkways and escalators. This is the longest escalator ever, isn't it? My partner. And sometimes you might even find entertainment along the way. Well, we just missed our two, so now we have to wait for another one. The good thing is they come about every two to three minutes. Eventually, we made it to our destination. So remember, when you're in London, the tube is the quickest and easiest way to get around the city. We hope you liked this video, and we hope it gave you some tips and tricks on how to ride the tube when you're in London. And remember, the last thing you need to do when exiting the tube is tap your card and exit through the green arrows. That's about it for this video, but don't forget to check out our full video on our time in London. And that's how you use the tube to get around London. And now there's the Tower of London. Well, part of it. Be sure to follow us on TikTok and Instagram, and check out our website at americantravelfamily.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more American Travel Family adventures. Hey, it's the guy's hospital. And I'm not allowed to go there. <laughs>